All right, we told you at the uh, start of the broadcast that the, the number one issue for Americans these days in the latest Fox News poll uh, looking at Democrats and Republicans is immigration. Doesn't this next fellow know it? A county in New Mexico just declaring a state of emergency at the border. Uh, and this guy has asked the governor there to help them out by deploying National Guard troops. But Governor Grisham is not complying, telling the county commissioners to ask the Department of Homeland Security for that help. Joining us now is Aptero County Commissioner Coy Griffin. Uh, Commissioner, good to have you. Thanks for taking the time. Neil, I appreciate you having me on. So um, the governor says no, talk to DHS. Have you talked to DHS? No, sir, we haven't. Um, we've, we've just began this process, Neil, um, by, by, by declaring this state of emergency in Otero County, uh, home of Holloman Air Force Base. But um, this is just a cry out, Neil, that, that we need help. You know, our checkpoints, our border checkpoints have been shut down since March 25th, and, and those, those checkpoints weren't put in place for no reason. They serve a purpose. They monitor illegal drug, drug trafficking and illegal activities. And, and with those checkpoints being shut down right now as we speak, it just puts the constituents that I've been voting into office by at risk. You know, for a lot of folks that don't know where you are, you're really, you know, at a sort of a dynamically soared position here, uh, physically on the Texas and right at the brink of the Mexico border. So you're right, uh, you know, at the, the, you know, ground zero in this battle. Um, and we're going to show That's that correct. map shortly there. Uh, what do you make, though, of the fact that a lot of people are just saying, oh, this is overstated now, um, and that this isn't a big issue. And then you hear reports of, out that, that a number of the top Democratic candidates, like Cory Booker, are saying there is an emergency going on at the border. You know, I, my message would be to those that say there's not really anything going on there and there's no re real reason for concern would be that they don't live in the state that I live in. You know, New Mexico is already oppressed enough as it is. Um, recent data came out showing that New Mexico leads the United States in child poverty. Um, one third of our Native American uh, folks living in New Mexico live at or below the poverty level. Um, Albuquerque, New Mexico, the city that I'm in right now, leads the nation in auto theft. You know, New Mexico is, is really suffering in so many areas. Data was just gathered recently uh, that rated the different states in the United States and their desirability to live in. And New Mexico was ranked the least desirable state in the United States to live in. And, uh, and, and the travesty of it is, Neil, is that New Mexico has so much to offer. We have a diverse public lands. We have a diverse culture. Uh, we have a great climate. We have a rich southeast corner with oil and gas. Um, but, that the, but by us being ranked the least desirable state in the United States, that just goes back to our politics in the state of New Mexico right now. And, uh, and it's unfortunate for the people of this great state because New Mexico is my home. I go back generations in this then, state. Then what I love does this, this state. state of emergency mean, then, Commissioner? What, what powers do you have um, uh, uh, when it comes to this border crisis, how to deal with it if the governor is not going to concur. Well, I tell you, Neil, um, in regards to the power that the counties have, in regards to the Constitution, um, we have tremendous power. Uh, and so to do what? that's so the power that we're standing me, like, on, is a constitutional power. What do you have the right to do? We have, well, we have the right to, uh, to, to support our locally elected county sheriff. Um, our sheriff has a tremendous amount of power, and me as a county commissioner as well as a sheriff of my county have sworn an oath to the people of our county, of Otero County, to protect and to serve them and to look out for the well-being of the people of my county. So um, this cry out to our governor, this declaration of an emergency is just a it's like us waving a white flag. I mean, again, like I just mentioned, we're getting overrun right now with immigrants, um, and the and the cartel has a green light during uh, to go through two major corridors, U.S. 54 and U.S. Highway 70. Those are both known avenues that the cartel used as to smuggle drugs. And inside of my county right now, according to uh, friends of mine that work undercover narcotics, 
the level of activity has never been higher. One of the undercover narcotics that I spoke with the other day said that the stash houses along our southern border are being emptied right now and shuttled north because of uncontrolled checkpoints. And in New Mexico, in my county, we have a problem. But I speak to the rest of the United States because those drugs coming up out of, out of Mexico, coming through my county, will soon be in a neighborhood near you. So I would ask you to please uh, give, give heed to our cry out with this declaration. Commissioner, thank you very much. Corey Griffin, the uh, Otero County, New Mexico, commissioner in the middle of uh, this uh, crisis at that border.